Welcome to Beyond Cinema, where we embark on a cinematic journey delving into the heartbeat of the world cinema. I'm your host, Neeta Bajaj Kumar. Join me as we unravel the stories behind the screens, exploring the nuances of writing, direction, dialogues, casting and everything that shapes the magic of movies. Zubeda, a 2001 masterpiece directed by the illustrious Sham Benegul, is a cinematic gem not only celebrated for its storytelling and performances, but also for its deep-rooted connections to real-life narratives and historical authenticity. It stands as a testament to the expertise and mastery of Benegul's craft. At the heart of Zubeda is the story penned and screenplay crafted by Khalid Mohammad, intricately based on his mother's life, making the film an intensely personal project that brings to life the complexities of love, ambition and societal norms. Zubeda unravels the life of the ill-fated actress Zubeda, portrayed by Karishma Kapoor, a strong-willed ambitious daughter of a traditional Muslim businessman whose life takes a dramatic turn when she decides to marry and become the second wife of a Rajasthani Hindu prince. This narrative is skillfully interwoven with the story of Riyaz, a film journalist played by Rajit Kapoor, who is Zubeda's son from her first marriage. He embarks on a journey to Fatehpur to uncover the layers of his mother's life, who is unknown to to him, piecing together her dreams, despair and her quest for love and recognition. In many ways, Riaz is Khalid Mohammad's cinematic alter ego, offering insights into the writer's personal quest for understanding his mother's life choices and the societal context in which they were made. Through Riaz's journey, the film delves into the complexities of maternal legacy, the impact of familial relationships and the quest for personal identity amidst the echoes of the past. This character's exploration reflects a broader narrative of discovery and understanding, resonating with audiences on a deeply personal level. The movie transcends mere storytelling, delving deep into the emotional and psychological intricacies of its characters against the backdrop of a newly independent India grappling with its cultural and societal traditions. Transitions. Under the direction of Sham Benegul, a luminary of Indian cinema, known for his incredible storytelling and nuanced portrayal of complex themes, Zubeda transforms into a visual and emotional masterpiece. Benegul's directorial finesse elevates the film's screenplay, cinematography and performances, creating a seamless blend of historical depth and personal drama. His ability to navigate the delicate intricacies of human emotions set against the grandeur and decline of royal India showcases his unparalleled craftsmanship and deep understanding of the social-political tapestry of the era. It's a lesser-known fact that Zubeda actually forms the concluding part of Benegal's informal trilogy preceded by Mammo and Sardari Begum. While not directly interconnected in terms of storyline, these films share thematic undercurrents exploding the lives of women against the backdrop of a changing Indian society. The decision to cast the same actors in different roles across the trilogy can be seen as a symbolic gesture by Benegul, emphasizing the universality of the themes he explores, identity, norms, the quest for personal freedom and the complexities of familial relationships. A notable aspect of this trilogy is the contribution of Khalid Mohammad, who penned the stories based on personal family narratives, lending an authentic voice and emotional depth to the films. While Zubeda is celebrated for its stellar cast and their exceptional performance, Performances, it is Karishma Kapoor in the titular role who steals the show. Often hailed as a career best performance, Kapoor brings to life the spirited, ambitious and tragically beautiful Zubeda with grace and intensity. Her portrayal not only won her critical acclaim in the form of a Filmfare Award, but also shattered her typecast image, proving her mettle as an actress of substance. Her performance in Zubeda remains a landmark in her career and continues to be appreciated by cinema enthusiasts and critics for its depth and sincerity. Kapoor's portrayal was marked by a delicate balance of strength and vulnerability. Ability. The character of Mandira, portrayed by the legendary Rekha, stands out as the actress's ability to convey volumes through subtlety and grace. Mandira, the first wife of the Rajasthani king, is a character woven with layers of complexity, dignity and restrained emotion. Rekha's portrayal is nothing short of poetic, capturing Mandira's internal struggles, her dignified acceptance of her circumstances and her nuanced interactions with Zubeda. Despite the potential for rivalry, her character is depicted with a depth of understanding and compassion, highlighting Rekha's mastery in delivering a performance that is both impactful and imbued with subtlety. 
The late Surekha Sikri's portrayal of the matriarch caught between the conflicting demands of her husband and a strong-willed daughter adds another layer of depth to the film's exploration of women's role and agency. Her character embodies the challenges faced by women in the 40s and 50s, navigating a patriarchal society where loyalty to one's husband came at the expense of personal desires and autonomy. Sikri's performance, even as an old, frustrated yet loving maternal figure to Riaz, captures her ability to transform into into varied characters with ease. The extended cast, including Manoj Bajpai, Amrish Puri, Lilith Dubey, Seema Pahava and Shakti Kapoor, contribute significantly to the film's narrative depth, bringing to life the layered personalities that inhabit Subeta's world. The visual and auditory elements of Zubeda are meticulously crafted to reflect the opulence and cultural richness of the era it depicts. The costumes, jewellery and sets are not mere embellishments but integral elements that add authenticity and enhance the storytelling. The portrayal of Royal India with its grand palaces and elaborate ceremonies, juxtaposed with the personal intimate spaces of Zubeda's world, creates a rich tapestry that transports viewers to a bygone era. The music of Zubeda, composed by A.R. Rahman with lyrics penned by Javed Akhtar, plays a pivotal role in the film's narrative, underscoring the emotional journeys of its characters. The soundtrack, a blend of traditional and contemporary influences, became immensely popular upon its release and has since remained timeless. Even today, no Indian Mehndi ceremony is complete without the song Mehndi Rachnevali, sung by the ever-so-melodious Alka Yagnik. But it is Lata Mangeshkar's angelic and eerie So Gaye Hai that truly captures the essence of the tumultuous life of Zubeda. Zubeda stands out as a monumental piece in the archives of Hindi cinema, not only for its artistic and narrative accomplishments, but also for its profound exploration of personal and societal themes. It garnered a national award in the Best Feature Film category in Hindi. Sham Benegal's directorial prowess, combined with Khalid Mohammed's deeply personal story and the exceptional performances of the cast, particularly Karishma Kapoor, create a cinematic experience that is both enchanting and thought-provoking. As the final note in Benegal's thematic trilogy, Zubeda encapsulates the essence of its predecessors by carving out its own unique place, celebrating the indomitable spirit of its characters and the timeless beauty of their stories. If you wish, you can watch this movie on YouTube. Thank you for joining me on this cinematic expedition today. Don't forget to tune in to next week again for more untold tales from the world of cinema. Feel free to share this with your friends because here at Beyond Cinema, Every week is a celebration of the extraordinary in movies. Until next time, keep the real stories alive. This is Nihita Bajaj Kumar signing off. See you at the movies.